Hello. Now we will discuss one important recently many number of times asked question in exams that is Geldahl's method estimation of nitrogen. It is one simple method actually but students get often confused because of the values given in the question. So what is actually Geldahl's method? How we are going to estimate the nitrogen? It's a very simple method you see organic compound if it is having nitrogen that can be estimated by nitrogen that can be estimated by sorry Geldahl's method the problem is this method is not applicable to nitro containing compounds azo group containing compounds and nitrogen in ring like pyridine type of compounds we say this is not possible because they cannot be converted into all these nitrogens cannot be converted into ammonia so our concept is organic compound must be converted to ammonia so this is your first question for which of the following compounds the Geldahl's method is not applicable if nitro group or azo group or nitrogen in ring is present then this method is not applicable then what actually we are going to do organic compound is treated with H2SO4 so that whatever the compound present in this that is nitrogen present in this is completely converted to ammonium sulfate NH42SO4 this is treated with excess of sodium hydroxide so that this compound releases ammonia gas so whatever the nitrogen is present simply we are converting that into ammonia by treating with concentrated sulfuric acid and then treating with the excess of sodium hydroxide so finally you are getting the ammonia gas now the process starts this ammonia how much is released we don't know this is treated with the standard HTSO4 solution we know standard meaning is concentration known solution we are going to use by using some excess of HTSO4 so as we know the reaction NH4 taken twice SO4 is formed so this is you can say a neutralization type of reaction a neutralization is happening but the problem is we don't know the exact amount of NH3 so we don't know how much of HTSO4 is going to be consumed here and we are taking an excess so the rest HTSO4 remaining whatever the HTSO4 is there which is left after neutralizing this NH3 that is again standardized or you say uh, calculated by using H2SO4 see NaOH and H2SO4 this is again neutralization so that you are getting their Na2SO4 plus water so two times we are going to perform the reaction and the student gets confusion by seeing the values first ammonia is treated with standard H2SO4 solution which is excess and there what we mention is whatever the excess HTSO4 was there excess HTSO4 means which was not used by ammonia that excess HTSO4 is calculated or estimated by using sodium hydroxide standard that means its concentration is known then from that from this equation from this calculation part you can calculate the amount of HTSO4 for example 100 ml HTSO4 you have taken whose concentration is for example 1 R1 for example from this some amount is utilized or some volume is utilized for the neutralization of ammonia done we don't know how much it is then we are using sodium hydroxide for the rest there for example let's hope 30 ml HTSO4 is utilized for neutralization of NaOH for neutralization of NaOH if 30 ml is utilized initially you have taken 100 ml so how much was utilized for ammonia that's your answer so it is 70 ml 70 ml was used for the HTSO uh, a 70 ml HTSO4 was used for the titration or you say neutralization of ammonia now you need to apply this formula percentage of nitrogen is equal to 1.4 NV by mass of organic compound very simple formula 
1.4 into n into v by mass of organic compound where n is normality of HTSO4 HTSO4 normality this will be given in the question sometimes they will give you molarity if molarity is given make it double because HTSO4 is a dibasic acid this is one option and V is volume of HTSO4 so as we were discussing volume of HTSO4 means whatever the initial volume is given from that you need to subtract the volume of HTSO4 which is utilized for the neutralization of sodium hydroxide only thing okay so this is the important concept for example I will give you one simple calculation part also 0 0.5 grams of organic compound which contains nitrogen rest gel dals method we are using and in gel dals method we have given some 50 ml of 0 0.5 m HTSO4 for neutralization of ammonia then excess of this HTSO4 required 60 ml of 0 0.5 m NaOH this is NCRT question as it is I am saying 0 0.5 grams of organic compound which contains nitrogen in Geldal's method when 50 ml of 0 0.5 m HTSO4 is utilized some ml some volume of this 50 ml is utilized for the ammonia neutralization the remaining is estimated by exactly 60 ml of 0 0.5 NOH what is the percentage of nitrogen so what is given here 60 ml 0 0.5 molar NOH sodium hydroxide is mono acidic base so for this the what you say molarity and normality will be same so in place of molarity you can write normality so what is the formula n1 v1 is equals to n2 v2 so 60 into 0 0.5 is equal to normality of HTSO4 as we were discussing in the question given 0 0.5 but HTSO4 is a dibasic acid so the normality will become 1 0 0.5 molarity is given that means normality is 1 so 1 into volume so V2 will become 30 ok 60 into 0 0.5 is 30 ml clear so what we are saying for sodium hydroxide to neutralize sodium hydroxide 30 ml HTSO4 utilized and what is the volume of HTSO4 given to actually 50 ml so what is the difference here 20 ml right 20 ml HTSO4 which was used for ammonia like this you need to calculate now percentage of nitrogen is equals to 1.4 into normality as we were discussing it is 1 20 ml is utilized here by weight of organic compound or you say mass of organic compound that is 0 0.5 so how much it is 1.4 into 1 into 20 yes 56 percent is so gel dals method questions will be like this in JEM and send it you can expect a question based on this one wonderful concept one easy concept